Well, good morning. I'm Dr. Michael Lang of the Lang Eye Institute and Fortify Vitamins, here with Dr. Kieran Heck, Scientific Officer of Astoreal. And we're going to talk a little bit about astaxanthin. We hear a lot about lutein. We hear a lot about zeaxanthin. These are carotenoids that uh, are being marketed for eye health, for macular degeneration. But astaxanthin is more of an emerging nutrient that is really quite exciting. I've been using it in a formula that we developed in conjunction with Astoreal called Fortify Focus, which has lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin. I've seen clinically some amazing benefits patients have when they're taking uh, this nutrient, astaxanthin. What actually is astaxanthin for our viewers out there? Astaxanthin is a really important nutrient that's naturally found in our foods. The most and best place to get it is wild salmon. It's what gives salmon that reddish distinctive color and that's because it's a pigment, a carotenoid, and a very powerful antioxidant. In fact, it's probably the most powerful antioxidant found in nature. It's 6,000 times stronger than vitamin C, 800 times stronger than CoQ10, 110 times stronger than vitamin E, and even two to three times stronger than lutein and zeaxanthin. And so our typical American diet is probably deficient in astaxanthin. You know, a lot of us eat salads. We eat spinach, we eat collard greens, uh, Swiss chard, turnip greens, kale, orange bell peppers. And so we're getting lutein in our diet. We're getting zeaxanthin in our diet. But how many of us actually eat wild Alaskan salmon on a daily basis? So one of the better ways to get astaxanthin is probably through supplementation. Yes, it's hard to get enough from diet alone, and that's why dietary supplementation through a product like Fortify Focus, which contains astral astaxanthin, is a good idea. You would have to eat something like 2.6 fillets a hundred gram or 3.5 ounce fillet of sockeye salmon a day to get enough astaxanthin for six milligrams which is what is in fortify focus and sockeye salmon is the highest it is. in astaxanthin so if you're eating coho or king salmon right. you have to eat a lot more what actually makes astaxanthin so unique and so different from every other nutrient out there on the market. One of the major things, astaxanthin targets an organelle in the eye that is so important, unaddressed by other eye nutrients out there, and that is the mitochondria. You know, mitochondria is responsible for ATP production, cellular respiration, and if we're supporting that and neutrifying these little mitochondria, in my opinion, I mean, that's practicing good anti-aging techniques, I'm making the body at a cellular level functioning a lot better. Astaxanthin actually localizes in the mitochondrial membrane and we see that in clinical studies 35 to 50 percent of all the astaxanthin in the membrane fraction of the cell goes specifically to mitochondrial membranes. The reason that's important is because mitochondria form free radicals as a byproduct and astaxanthin is positioned right at the source where those free radicals are formed to help protect mitochondria and energy production in the eye. And that's one way in which astaxanthin works in the eye by supporting the muscles, the mitochondria that contribute to eye fatigue and eye strain. The second way is by improving blood flow. And the third way is by actually its anti-inflammatory properties. So we do have several studies showing that astaxanthin helps to downregulate the master switch of inflammation, NF-kappa B, that is triggered and which contributes to chronic dry eye symptoms. Your eye dries out, you get um, you know, interleukins and cytokines, inflammatory signals right. that trigger the immune response that causes more damage to epithelial cells of the retina and that just perpetuates. And once again, that's why I developed the Fortify Focus uh, to have a supplement that's based on legitimate science. Mm -hmm. Astoreal has some enormous science behind it. And I've got to say, uh, when we see patients taking Fortify Focus, I am seeing patients that have reduced subjective symptomology uh, for many conditions, but mostly associated with the computers. I mean, let's face it, we're all living in a digital world these days, and we're all having an accommodative stress factor that's much higher than it was when I grew up. What I'm seeing in clinical practice uh, when patients take Fortify Focus, not only do they seem to have less dry eye symptomology, but they definitely have less eye fatigue, neck hurts, vision fluctuates, eyes feel sandy, gritty, burn, tear, itch. A lot of these symptoms 
decreased dramatically and some resolved completely. Yes, in fact, uh, Asteril Astaxanthin is the most studied brand of natural astaxanthin out there. We have over 60 clinical studies done specifically on Asteril Astaxanthin and 16 of those are on eye health. Looking at subjective symptoms like you mentioned for computer vision syndrome, which about 65% of Americans are affected by eye strain. We see in one clinical study, almost half of the participants reported improvements in ocular pain. Astaxanthin really works in the muscles at the front of the eye that help to support dynamic focus, that change the shape of the lens. And when we're looking at something very close by, like a computer screen, those muscles are contracted and they work hard and that energy to make those muscles work comes from mitochondria in the muscles. These are the engines of the cell and you have to keep those engines running and purring and humming smoothly. Over time as we age, you got to take care of them. And astaxanthin seems to be a nutrient that's clinically proven to protect mitochondria and protect those engines because they neutralize a byproduct called free radicals that would damage the mitochondria otherwise, making those muscles feel fatigued and tired. Right, and dry eye symptomology and eye fatigue uh, go hand in hand. And it wasn't until we developed the Fortify Focus that I really saw subjective improvement in our patients. We've known for years and years that omega-3 is very good for dry eye, uh, but it wasn't until a few years back when we developed Fortify Focus and we added it to the omega-3 that I really saw patients coming in saying symptomatically, you know, Dr. Lang, my eyes feel better. However, there are some studies talking about astaxanthin and improved tear breakup time mm -hmm. and better Schirmer tear testing. Yes, and that study was done with four milligrams of astaxanthin in combination with other carotenoids mm -hmm. and ingredients. And you're right, yes, they saw improvements in lacrimal gland function. And the important thing too is that when we're talking about dry eye, what we want to address are a few of the causative agents that contribute to dry eye. As we age, we actually become less efficient at tear production. And there are preclinical studies that show astaxanthin can improve expression of a water transporter called aquaporin-5. So that study was done on salivary glands, but it also functions in lacrimal glands. And so you can look at those glands as being kind of analogous. And if we can increase the amount of aquaporin-5 or water transporter, bringing water to the, the eye, then that can help potentially improve uh, dry eye symptoms as well. Learn something again. Yeah. There's a new product I've been working on developing, and we've seen a lot of patients responding positively when we add Fortify Focus mm -hmm. to a good triglyceride form, omega-3 fish oil, and then something called GLA from black currant seed oil. Mm -hmm. So I've been using a combination of these three and getting some very positive results. We've been seeing inflammatory markers go down, dry eye symptomology, eye fatigue improving, patients' skin health improving, even patients that comment that their rheumatoid arthritic symptoms have improved, and it all makes sense uh, because of the anti-inflammatory properties in all of these nutrients. So we've taken Fortify Focus, which is lutein, zeaxanthin, and astaxanthin, Fortify Super Omega, and a new Fortify Black Current Seed Oil, and we put them all in a box, all three bottles. And this product would be available January of 2019. But it's been very promising the results that we've seen clinically uh, using these prototypes in our practice at the Lang Eye Institute. So we're real excited about working with you guys uh, utilizing a new product to uh, benefit our patients that are more into a natural way of helping them. And the astaxanthin in that combination works really well, first of all, with lutein and zeaxanthin because they're functioning at different parts of the eye. Lutein and zeaxanthin are in the back of the eye protecting the retina from blue light exposure, and astaxanthin is at the front of the eye working in those ciliary muscles where we see astaxanthin depositing to help improve accommodation, focus and improve symptoms of fatigue as well. And so they really function complementarily, protecting the eye from front to back. 
a lot of times we'll be concerned about potential nutrients uh, blocking the absorption. Would lutein and zeaxanthin have any abilities to block the astaxanthin and vice versa? There is a study that addresses this and has shown that no, uh, astaxanthin, lutein, and zeaxanthin do not compete for absorption in the gut and we see serum levels of these carotenoids are unaffected when you take them together. All right, so I want to diverge back to what we were talking about, the improved choroidal circulation. All right, since I have a large practice in macula degeneration, it makes sense to me if you improve choroidal circulation, remember drusen, this is a waste of product basically underneath the retina. Mm -hmm. And in the choroid, these depositions just accumulate, accumulate, pushing on the retina, have these little bumps called PEDs, pigmented epithelial detachments. And these have a lot of inflammatory components, C-reactive protein and other things, in these drusen. So if we're using an anti-inflammatory and an antioxidant, it makes sense just from lowering oxidative stress and inflammation, it can help those. But if we're improving circulation mm -hmm. under the retina and the choroidal capillaries, it seems to me that might have a flushing effect, taking waste products away. So we know from studies that currently exist that mitochondrial function is really important to the progression of macular degeneration. And there may be some connection there that should be explored, hopefully in future research, of astaxanthin's role as a mitochondrial nutrient and how that might impact macular degeneration and pre-AMD as well. All right, let's talk about, you know, the largest organ in our body, the skin. Many uh, world-renowned experts recommend patients eating wild salmon on a daily basis, dark green leafy vegetables, berries, and they claim it does minimize fine lines and wrinkles in their face. Uh, I think they're correct. Once again, the Fortify Focus uses the lutein and the zeaxanthin. Yes, the clinical evidence touches on skin hydration, elasticity, um, skin texture, so things like fine lines and wrinkles, as well as even skin tone, so reducing redness and also uh, reducing the signs of aging like age spots. So we have clinical studies addressing all of these areas for skin and the way that we talk about hydration is by protecting that very top layer of skin, the stratum corneum, from damage from the environment. So if you can maintain the integrity of that top layer of skin, you actually reduce the amount of water that evaporates from the skin. It helps from the inside out. It does, yes. You take it orally and we sh we've seen that astaxanthin localizes in the dermis, the deep layer of skin, where collagen, elastin, and hyaluronic acid are. And we see that astaxanthin can actually protect our collagen production based on in vitro studies too. Astaxanthin is also associated with reduced muscle strain, improved recovery, and reduced muscle fatigue, not only in the eye and the ciliary muscles, but in general. Exactly. So I think it's a great addition for weekend warriors, for pro athletes, for amateur athletes. Yep, well Asteril astaxanthin is actually banned substance tested for those pro athletes who want to take advantage of this, but it's not just for pro athletes, it's for anyone just looking to live an active healthy lifestyle. And the reason for that is again, those mitochondria which are super rich in muscles, making energy when we need it, but also producing free radical byproducts. So we're addressing two things here with astaxanthin in muscle. The free radicals that are formed during exercise that contribute to how efficient we produce energy and the free radicals produced after exercise, part of the cleanup process to repair muscles that have been torn up through the mechanical stress of exercise. We have studies showing astaxanthin can improve performance markers like power output and the time it takes to complete a 20 kilometer time trial in competitive cyclists. Mm -hmm. We also see improvements in endurance in training paramedics doing weighted squats and we see improvement in chronic inflammation markers like CRP and muscle damage markers like creatine kinase and aspartate aminotransferase in soccer players. That's the endurance side. From the recovery side, when those white blood cells come to repair the muscle, they produce a second wave of free radicals that contributes to inflammation and delayed onset muscle soreness. Now, 
what would be the dosage? So the minimum dosage, which we've seen for skin health in our clinical studies is two milligrams mm -hmm. a day. For muscle health, it's four milligrams to six milligrams a day. Mm -hmm. And for eye health, most of the studies are done at six milligrams a day. We also see some cardiovascular health benefits, such as improved blood lipid profiles, and those are 12 milligrams a day. Astaxanthin, it's a cutting edge nutrient that I recommend to everybody. And I'm glad that it's emerging now because actually Astoril Astaxanthin is the most clinically studied brand of natural astaxanthin with over 30 years of research behind us, 60 clinical studies, 150 studies overall, and 40 safety studies. And it comes from a vegetarian source from algae that's grown right here in the USA in Moses Lake, Washington, in indoor photobioreactors. So it's a really clean quality product. And you do uh, reverse osmosis for the water, yeah. HEPA filtration for the air. When I was at last year at American College of Nutrition Annual Conference, there was a lecture there talking about two astaxanthin supplements that were pure and had no con contaminants in it, and Astoreal was one of those. Uh, yes, I think being in an indoor facility, you can filter out the air. We have to filter the air so there are no air pollutants. We can also control light nutrients and time the harvest precisely. So we harvest mature red phase algae that have the most amount of astaxanthin you can have in there and the least amount of the green phase, the young immature type of algae mm -hmm. that have chlorophyll and chlorophyll breakdown products that can compromise the stability of the astaxanthin. So we take this very seriously and we make sure that we do it in the best way possible in an indoor environment in the USA, USP certified product in an NSF GMP registered facility. What more can you ask for? I mean, astoreal astaxanthin, I stand behind it. All of our products, our new product, the Fortify Advanced Dry Eye Therapy will have it and our Fortify Focus. You know, people really need to start looking for astaxanthin in their supplements. It's been a lot of fun. I appreciate you being a guest on Ask the Doctor this morning, uh, Dr. Fine. Hack. Maybe we'll do it again real soon. That'd be great. Thank you so much. All right. <laughs>